now it's time to move on to the seeds that are um, directly that are that are isolated. So we're going to do these seeds now, and the way to do these is to um, use small containers. We're going to use these small tubes, and we're going to sterilize the seed in a much lower concentration of bleach. So I made up a, um, a Clorox solution that's uh, this one's about five percent. And so I'm going to use a 5% solution to sterilize the seeds for about 20 minutes. And we'll, we'll see how all of this um, works out. So these are all my different seeds. And I will add, and these tubes contain, uh, the, the, it's a, it's the, these are one and a half mil, I'm sorry, these are two mil tubes right here. So what I'm going to do is take the bleach solution right here and just add it to each one of these tubes. Okay, the next step is to vortex these tubes. This is called uh, finger vortexing and it kind of mixes it does it mixes them up very thoroughly I have a hand vortexer a, a automated vortexer and I'll bring that over as well you can see what happens is they don't mix uh, very well until you do the until you mix things up very thoroughly okay this is slow <laughs> I'm gonna do I'm going to use the uh, the automated vortexer, and um, I set my timer for 20 minutes, and then I'll wash and plate these similar to the other seeds. Okay, we are back. So the seeds here have been sterilizing for 20 minutes and 5% bleach, and now it's time to uh, pipe it off the bleach. Previously, we poured off the bleach. We can't do that now, but we'll pipe it off the bleach. I'll show you how to do that. We'll add um, water as a rinse, and we'll do this again four to five times, and then plate these seeds. So I wanted to show you what happens with these seeds. So these are floaters, and what we'll have to do is take the pipette tip underneath that floating raft of orchid seeds and pull out the old uh, old medium of the old water and bleach and then uh, remove it and then put in the, uh, the water rinse. So I'm going to try this now and see how it goes. All right, now we have to add water. This is the rinse water to each one. Okay, now each of these tubes needs to be vortexed. And this is the automated vortexer that I've been using. It's just, it's pretty nice. So this whole process, this is the first rinse, and what I'm doing is rinsing the seeds and uh, making sure that the, the bleach and the bleach residue is gone. And this whole thing I have to do four to five times. So I am likely going to come back to you at the end of it all and then show you how to play.
Okay, we've been through five rinses of the orchid seed and I think um, we're ready to plate. But one thing I did want to show you is that we have, similar to what I showed you initially, uh, these, are, these are floaters. So the orchids are, are at the top of the solution here. Uh, and these are these are sort of podium, and I my, I've been told that that's what they do. And the other seed are cattleyas, which I've done. Cattleyas are when you've got a viable seed, they sink. So a lot of times with cattleyas, when you sterilize the seed like this, you have the non-viable seed floats and the viable seed sinks. So this is what the the cattleya seed did. So this is you can see the pellet of the cattleya seeds on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is vortex the seed and then plate it on the media shown here. So we'll start with this one. Vortex the seed right here makes because this was the this is the cattleya and these are the viable seed, the good viable seed and again I looked at them and they looked they looked really good. So the viable seed for the cattleya were the sinkers. So I'm going to vortex them right here. So it resuspends them and then plate them out. So I'm going to do that with all of the different seed lots that I have. And just so you know, I have all my plates lined up here and labeled as far as the seed lots go so they wouldn't be wouldn't be confusing. All right, this is the last seed lot. Plate it out. The only the next step is to make sure that the seeds are distributed evenly over the dish. And they are. And then I just wrap the seed, the plates, like I did previously. Everything's labeled. Sit and wait for my seeds to, to grow and turn green, and I'm good. I probably plated, plated close to a million seeds today. So we'll see how many plants I get out of this. So that's all I have for today. Happy propagating.